So, uh, Professor Liu is going to show you how to draw the Italian flag first by absolute address. So that means we can now move the location. And uh, this program will be easy because we are going to draw uh, two rectangle. One is green, one is uh, red. We don't need to draw the white one and just draw two lines. So the first rectangle start from 100, 100. The width is 30, height is 60. That's why we call rectangle green, rectangle equal 100, 100. That's a x, y coordinate. Width is 30, height is 60. And we are going to draw the red rectangle so rectangle here, starting from 160, 100, width is 30, high is 60. So once I finish these two rectangles, I also need to have these two lines. This first line here, uh, this point, that's x1, 130, 100 to 160, 100. Second line is 130, 160 to 160, 160. After you complete, um, create these objects. Now you need to draw them right now. So object is created. Now you draw them. So first, draw the uh, green one. So you say use G2. First you change the color to green. Then use use G2 to draw it. G2 dot fill because I need you to fill the rectangle. So green rectangle. Then I change the color to red. Then set color to red and I fill the red rectangle. Then after this, I am going to draw the two line. So the two line here, the top one here, first change to black. Then G2 dot draw top line and g2 dot draw the bottom line all right so when you view this program uh you use the italian flag component right so let me run this program with you right now so you run as uh, java application so if you, you use absolute address you use absolute address and this italian flag is a uh, absolute address so you cannot move to anywhere and it will be absolute and the textbook will want you to modify this program so you will uh, allow the program allowed you to move um, this uh, flag and to different location uh, but you know it, you can try that one in it is okay for you to submit your work like this way. I hope you like this program.